For over 25 years, the Pollock Lab has been studying giant barrel sponges. While Caribbean reef corals have been dying, Zestospongia muta has been thriving. This barrel sponge was photographed in 2015 and again in 2019. The sponge has grown over the branching coral, which is now dead. In this video, we will take a tour of reefs around the Caribbean to see how abundant giant barrel sponges have become. We'll start in the Florida Keys, then the central Bahamas, the island of Ceiba, on to Barbados, then Tobago, then move to the central Caribbean and the south coast of Cuba, then the island of Cayman Brac, then down to the Mesoamerican barrier reef locations of Roatan and Belize. Let's start at Conk Reef off Isla Mirada in the middle Florida Keys. This video from summer 2019 still shows ample evidence of the effects of Hurricane Irma, which hit the Keys in fall of 2017. Massive amounts of sediment from Florida Bay were spread onto the reef tract, smothering sponges in parts of the lower Keys, but these sponges escaped that fate. There is still plenty of sediment on the reef, and the effects of storms and disease has reduced coral cover on this reef to nearly nothing. But the barrel sponges are recovering nicely. In some cases, you can see where large sponges were torn off the reef by the storm, and the remaining base of tissue is now recovering, forming new excurrent openings, or atria. We've been monitoring plots on this site since 1997, and both the numbers and volume of giant barrel sponges has been increasing. They now represent the most abundant single organism on the reef surface, and they provide important structure and habitat for invertebrates and fishes. Conk Reef is home to a healthy population of angelfishes, which themselves feed on sponges. Next up on our Caribbean reef tour is a reef in the southeast Bahamas. This is the oldest footage in the tour, dating from 2013. You can see that there is more live coral on this reef than in Florida, and some of the barrel sponges are very large. You can also see plenty of evidence of sponges overgrowing corals at this site. Sponges such as this one are providing primary habitat for lots of little fishes and invertebrates, now that branching corals have mostly died off on these reefs. The island of Ceiba is a volcano with steep sides that provide a constant source of sediment to the reefs around it. Remaining coral cover is fairly low, and in the fall of 2019, 
Some of the remaining corals were bleached. Barrel sponges are doing very well, and many produce large aprons of tissue at their bases, which grow over and smother any remaining coral colonies. Reefs off the southwest coast of Barbados have very high cover of giant barrel sponges, which in this location grow strangely, resembling the form of a giant clam. Island natives who began diving in the 1960s say the increase in barrel sponges over the years has been very noticeable. Very large specimens of giant barrel sponges are common on this reef at 25 to 30 meters depth off Barbados. Further south, reefs off the northeast tip of Tobago have barrel sponges that look the same as those in Barbados, with an equally high abundance. The grayish-white color of some of the sponges is due to differences in the abundance of cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae, in their tissues, and it does not appear to have any negative consequences for these sponges with the lighter coloration. Coral cover on Tobago's reefs is patchy, but barrel sponges are just as abundant in these locations as well.
Now let's move on to the Central Caribbean and the famous reefs of the Garden of the Queen off the south coast of Cuba. Here, barrel sponges are back to the more characteristic cylindrical form. Coral cover is low and seaweeds are abundant. Cayman Brac has less seaweed, but also more abundant barrel sponges.
Roatan, at the south end of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, shows evidence of recent coral loss and lots of large barrel sponges. This reef is on the northeast side of the island. And this reef is on the south side of Roatan, close to the port, where there is generally more sediment in the water. In addition to many large barrel sponges, there is a lot of seaweed on these reefs. Finally, we have the reefs off Belize. This is the top of the four reef drop off just off Caribo Key. This is a little further north off South Water Key. And this is a deeper reef south of Caribou.
I hope you've enjoyed this video tour. Giant barrel sponges are remarkably variable in form, and they are clearly now one of the dominant organisms on Caribbean reefs.